Let's create a new template. Here, you will lay out the design for your product. Let's give it a name. We'll start with a new blank page to set the dimensions of our print file. Dimensions are always in millimeters. In this case, our page will have 75 by 155. Here we are in Customly's Design Studio. It's where we'll add all the layers that make the design. Let's start by adding an image placeholder. This is a place where customers will be able to upload their own pictures. You can drag and drop to resize and position the layer correctly. In this case, the placeholder will cover the entire page since we want customers' uploaded photos to fill the entire case. Let's try uploading an image to see how it would look. To make sure pictures cover the entire placeholder, we're going to select the option Fill Area. This way, no matter what customers upload, images will always be scaled to fill the entire placeholder. Now let's add a text box so customers can type their own text. I'll rotate it and then stretch it to fill the entire case. To add different font options to the text, we'll select a font library. If you change options, you can see all the fonts from the library are now available on the text. When it comes to font size, we will give it a range with the minimum and maximum size values. This way, if customers type short or long text, it will resize to fit the phone case perfectly. Finally, we'll give the text different color options by assigning it a color library. As you can see, all the color options from the library are now available on the text. Choose the export format for your print file. In this case, we'll go for PNG with 300 dpi. When the print file is ready, you can move on to configure the preview. Start by choosing the background for the preview. In this case, we'll use a white background, since we'll be adding the phone model images using libraries. As you can see, all layers from the print file are now visible on the preview. The only thing missing is the actual phone background. Let's create it by adding a dynamic image and assigning it the phone model library. Then, resize the layer so it fits the entire preview, and move it to the back by rearranging the order on the Layers panel. You can also lock the layer to keep it in place. If I try uploading a picture as if I were a customer, we'll see that the picture covers the entire phone. This is because we are missing the phone mask overlay. To create it, let's add another dynamic image, and assign to the library we created with the phone masks. This will create the overlay we need, so the shape of the case and the camera will go over the customer's design. If we change options, we can see how all the phone models and colors from the library are available. Now that the preview is looking good, we can see how it compares to the print file. On the right, you can see the preview customers will see on your store, while on the left, you can see the print file you'll receive on the orders. Click on the layers to test how they will work. You can browse through the different options and upload photos to test. When you are ready, save the template and head on to the next video to learn how to connect this with your store.